Morning, we've come out for the day again today. Uh, we've come to see a, a really, really old friend of mine. Um, I've known him for years. Uh, he's been in this car once, I think, uh, and liked it, but um, he's never really shown any interest until recently. And he started asking me loads of questions about electric vehicles. And um, I think he's kind of testing the water a little bit. So rather than answering the questions, what I said, I'll tell you what, I'll come over and see you. You can drive the car and hopefully that'll answer all your questions. So that's what we're here to do today. This is Mark, he is one of my very oldest friends, and uh, I think it's fair to say that uh, up until now you've shown absolutely no interest whatsoever in my car. No, not at all. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Um, I mean, why is that? You obviously, you're, well, you're a roofer, you drive a van, diesel van, um, I do. tools of your trade. Uh, have you ever considered at any point uh, whether it would make sense for you? with your local driving, what have you, to switch to an electric vehicle? If they brought out a really good electric van, um, yeah, possibly. Mm. But I'm yet to see one out there at the moment. I haven't really looked into it no. that Well, much. hold that thought. I might show you something later on that might interest you. Oh, look forward to that. So, um, so uh, OK, so you drive a diesel van, but for your family car, you've got a little Citroen, quite a new one. A Citroen C3, yes. One down from a cactus. Right. Yes. Yeah. Something about some boards on the side. Yes. Yeah. The, the basically, you know, the, the little bumper things, which, uh, you know, I think it's supposed to stop people from when they open their car door in a car park, it doesn't hurt your door. Oh, I see. So a cactus, it's quite thick. And the one I've got, the C3, it's quite thin. So it's not a, a, a big chunk of Lego out there, shall we say. Right. Yes. Uh, so that's a petrol car. Um, and all right for sort of your family needs? Yeah, yeah, it's a good little run around. Uh, we, you know, we don't do very long commutes in it. Um, the fuel is, it's all right. It all depends on how you drive it, yeah, like anything, to yeah. be honest. But um, yeah, we've got a lot of mod cons on the car, so it weighs quite a bit. So I can imagine that, you know, because it's a heavy car, yeah. we're putting a lot of fuel in there. So um, yes, yeah, so I'd like to convert it to electric. Okay, well, seeing as you've shown up, a smidgen of interest. Just a smidge. I thought rather than telling you about it, the best thing to do is just let you have a drive and Why just not? see what you think. Yeah, can, so, I put, um, go on. can I put my foot down? We'll see. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know what your driving's like. I know, I know. Um, no worries, right, let's finish these up and go for a drive. Let's go finish these okay. up. I'll tell you, you bring me to all the best places. Look at this, it's I lovely. Know. I um, know all the... Perhaps summer time's come. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, Very nice day. Right, so we've had a lovely drive around. You've taken me to all the sites around the countryside. I have. Um, you've uh, driven it normally, you've driven it uh, with eco off, you've, you've tried it on um, dual carriageways, single um, A roads, B roads, all over the place. Yep. Uh, what do you reckon? I really like it. Yeah? I really do. Are you a convert? I think I might be. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might just be. Um, it's not just that. I mean, it's so quiet. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's so easy to drive. Yeah. Um, you got more, you know, you can look at the road a lot more and think about, you know, where you're going and, you know, not worry about too much, you know, about fuel consumption and things like that. I like it. I like it as a car. I like it as a drive. Um, yeah. So for, for you, uh, I mean, that is a 24 kilowatt hour leaf. That's the, the smallest battery you can get. Right. And we spoke about the range. You know, if I, my, my everyday driving, I can generally, this time of year, eke about 80 miles out of it. Uh, would that suit you 
on a daily basis. That would. Yeah. Definitely. So regardless of whether it's your family car or your work van, that sort of mileage is good for you? It is, definitely is good for me. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and, and again, we, <laughs> I said I'd show you something later, right at the start, and I showed you the um, ENV 200, the yes. Nissan van. Yes. Um, what, um, what do you reckon? Would that do for work? Something like that? That would be ideal. Definitely. Um, I think not just for work, but, you know, I might be able to use it in everyday life as well. Which would be... Absolutely, yeah. You know, it doesn't have to just be for work, but I like the look of them. Uh -huh. um, I, I like their idea. And, um, you know, if you can get over 100 something miles out of one charge, that's yeah, more than enough for well, me. Certainly, the, uh, it looks like there's a new battery about to come out in it, a slightly bigger battery. So, yeah, I mean, over 100 miles in one of those should be yeah. very achievable. Yeah. I think um, I might have to take one for a test drive. Yeah, well, let me know. I'll come along for a ride. Definitely, yeah. yeah <laughs> so, um, so, all right. Well, it's been good today. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed and it. And I'm glad that, uh, well, hopefully you're another EV convert. I think I might just be. Brilliant. Right. Um, shall we get back and have another cup of, co cup of coffee? Definitely. Excellent. Come on, then. I love meeting up with old friends like that. It's brilliant. We've had a great day. It, um, there's no airs and graces, is there, when you meet your old friends? Uh, you just revert to type, and it's been good fun. I haven't caught up with them for a little while, so that was great. But... For me, today was interesting because it took me back four years when I was in the position he's in now. Uh, I was, up until that point, I was aware electric vehicles existed, uh, but nothing more than that. And then there was a kind of a changeover point where all of a sudden I thought, actually, these things could save me money. And uh, that for me was a big driving force initially. So I then started looking into them more and more. Uh, and that's where his kind of interest has come from. Uh, and through the course of the day, there was a reoccurring, well, two reoccurring themes with him. There was two things he just kept saying. I, I don't think he realized he was saying them over and over again, but those things were, uh, first and foremost, this could save me money. And secondly, this is really good fun. Uh, I don't think many people that haven't driven uh, an EV equate this kind of, I don't know, eco warrior kind of image as being fun. Well, I think, it's probably fair to say for most of us that drive electric vehicles, we're not eco-warriors. We just love driving cars. And this just enhances what was something that we've done for a long time in a nice car. Uh, for me, especially, I feel that an electric car uh, pushes that on again. And um, I really enjoy driving it too. So it was really nice to hear him say those things, uh, as I say, over and over again, it really reinforced it for me. Um, and then going on from that, how that would fit into his family life, because you could see him trying to work it out all throughout the day. How could I make this work for me? And every time he kind of thought, maybe it will, maybe it won't, he could come up with a solution. And as I found, and as I'm sure those of you that have got electric vehicles have found, it's not really a compromise. If you are sensible in, with your buying choice and you accept uh, the range that comes with whatever car you choose, then there is no compromise because you buy the correct car for you. Uh, so for him, uh, he looked at it on two levels, really. He was looking at a van for work and I showed him the ENV 200, the Nissan, and that would just work perfectly for him. It's the same sort of size as his current van. Uh, it has more than enough range and that would save him a load of money lugging stuff around. And then as a, a personal family car, again, they do very little, little mileage in their, their family car. So it would work for them with that as well. It would save them on uh, road tax. It would save them on fuel. It would, um, he, really that kind of light bulb moment came on for him today. And um, the, he's gonna look around and there's a few more things that I've asked him to look at before he kind of plunges in. But I, I think we might have ourselves another EV convert there. And um, it, it's, it's great because it's nice that you don't have to force these cars on people because you think it's the right thing. They. If, if they're right for the person, they pretty much sell themselves. And uh, I, I remember that moment when I had that light bulb moment, if you like, all those years ago when uh, it suddenly dawned on me, this is great fun and this will work. So uh, hopefully you've, in, you've enjoyed watching it today. If you're maybe looking to buy a, an EV for the first time, maybe you can uh, sort of understand some of the, the thoughts and the the, the queries that Mark had today. Uh, and if you already drive an EV, then hopefully that's taken you back like it did with me and um, some really happy memories uh, and knowing that you made the right decision. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, remember to like and share. And if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again soon. Take care.